Hey guys, today we're going to take you through a kind of diagnosing of this computer. So we just got it in and the lady said that it was freezing on her and just randomly shutting down. So my initial suspicion is that the hard drive has gone bad. Initially looking at the machine, you can see that it's been dropped. So if you pick it up here, you can see that and then you can hear inside of it that stuff's moving. So maybe a hard drive, maybe something else. Typically what I'll do on these machines is I'll take the bottom off if there's just a few screws. In this case it looks like there's four and I'll plug the hard drive into my bench machine to test it. So the other option is to use the built-in software. Um, just because this is a bigger panel I'll probably attempt to use the Dell software first. So let's go ahead and try that. So I ran the Dell Diagnostics and it is saying that it's not found anything. So we can run the additional memory test, which we are not going to do. We're going to go ahead and just boot into Windows and run Crystal Disk to see what the smart data has to say. So we got Crystal Disk up and just like the Dell software said, the hard drive is not reading any problems. So I went through and checked and everything seems to be fine. It hasn't been on an extreme amount of hours. Um, downside it is a 5400 RPM drive but honestly most are. So the next thing I did was I went to check the event log which you can get to at the computer management. The easiest way on a Windows 10 machine is to right click the start menu, click computer management and that will load up this screen which then you just do event viewer touch screen. So Bonjour service which is related to iTunes is what has been erroring out. There are a few other logs and stuff in here, but this is the main culprit. So what we're gonna do is we are going to basically do a tune-up of the machine and see how it runs. Once we've got it kind of cleaned up, then we will run some stress tests on it to try to heat it up to see if it's turning off because of heat issues. Um, but I think it's just airing out and turning off for her because she's having problems with software. So we'll do our complete cleanup which we'll have links to our suggested computer tune-up slash cleanup down in the description along with all of the software and stuff that we use. If you do have questions though you can leave them in the comments or on our website. But I'll let you know how things turn out once we kinda of do the tune-up. So I've got this computer all fixed up. Um, just did a regular tune-up and it solved the problem. Last thing I'll do is I'll blow the air out of the computer, or blow some dust out of the computer with an air compressor, clean the screen off so all the fingerprints are gone, and send them back to the customer. This particular customer did decide to go to an SSD at the same time, so we have already swapped that out, just using a USB to SATA attachment. So just use one of these off of a hard drive. I'll leave links to all the tools and stuff that I used down in the description, but makes it really simple to transfer using a Cronus and she's up and running. So that's how I was able to fix this Dell Inspiron. One final thing on the laptop, um, customer got the computer back and they were still having the same problems. So I determined that her problem was her power cord because I used the official Dell power cord that was with one of my laptops to fix her computer. So her Targus uh, third-party power cord was not working. We ordered a replacement on Amazon and that solved the rest of her issues. So between the tune-up and replacing the power cord, she was good to go. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channels. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments down below or hit me up at trenchtech.co.